Howdy y'all, this is Texas Gaming Industries here, and welcome to episode 25, part 6 of my Let's Play at Transport Fever 2. In the previous episode, we began delivering coal from the mines here in Middleburg to the steel mill here in Pretoria. Hopefully, with the money we earn from coal, as well as our two new passenger trains, we will be able to earn enough money to access deliveries of iron ore, to basically take away business from this horse-drawn carriage system that's operating between this town and the steel mill. But, it's going to take a little bit of time in order for us to earn enough funding to acquire that particular train. Speaking of which, I think all of my vehicles need to basically have a better good... Need to have very good conditions again. However, now that meat is now being available, our train is now ready to pick up meat to bring back to the Met capital. This train could bring us a good amount of money. All it just needs to do is just to make sure that the cattle supply stays up. This, this train is going to be doing with 240 units of cattle. Our passenger numbers are still up. Passenger train A has 45 passengers waiting here at this town. And in... Victoria, there's 19 people waiting to board train A, while there's 7 waiting for train B. There's actually some wanting to ride on train C, which goes all the way to Neustrom. And there's 40, 34 people wanting to travel up to Pretoria. Safe to say, our passenger and freight trains are actually making quite a decent profit. Now then, let's see. Station in Prytersburg has nearly 60. The diamond mines are still at full production. This train is nearly fully loaded with diamonds. Hmm. Let's see. Well, we can't basically take care of delivering prospectors for now, but we still need to get that down to the coast. Alright, 252 units of coal. Let's see. We're down to 14.5 million pounds. And thankfully, this train is now full to the brim with diamonds. Now it's going to make another 16.10, and it should basically cut down our own by a bit. Speaking of which, let's see how much this train of meat bring us when it arrives at the station. Hopefully it will be a pretty good amount. 2.54 million pounds. And, with the arrival of meat, there's a 10% increase of residents. Which is great. Although, there is a demand waiting to pick up meat. I don't need to make that meat only. Hmm. Hopefully this station will have a chance to basically get everything unloaded. If not, it could just load and unload again and just take the cattle back to the ranch and just pick up another nearly full load. Let's see. 16 passengers. Train A is still going pretty strong. Our diamond train is coming in. We're now down to 10 million pounds, so we should almost have enough money to pay off our loan. Alright. Now down to 4 million, if we take out another large loan, we should basically have a total of 16.8. And how much was this train with 20 wagons? 18.3. Okay. That'll get us down to 3.50. But it will need another 
delivery of cattle or coal to basically make up for that amount of money that we need to earn. The train will normally make about 2.75. This train has a full low for the first time. And this platform is full to the brim, waiting to be picking up meat. Alright! That's pretty, pretty good! Let's see. Still 4 million. Now 3.50. see, how much did this train earn on the last run? 1.58 million pounds. Passenger train D is going to have another full load. Another load of coal is heading for the steel mill. So, basically, I think this delivery will basically would you look at that? No loan. We had finally earned enough money to basically fund the entirety of the railway ourselves. However, I still need to transport iron ore to basically get rid of the wagon convoy service going to between the iron mine and the steel mill. Okay. I'll just basically take on another large loan. I know it's a little bit off, but I can at least clone this train for now. Put it to the iron ore trains. There we go. Now, with the new iron ore train in service, this train will carry much more iron ore to, than the wagon convoys ever can, which means more service for us. But, however, we'll need to pay back the 16 million pounds that was out on our loan. But hopefully, once we earn enough money from our deliveries of diamonds, coal, iron ore, livestock, and meat, we should be able to earn enough money to basically start our expansion down to the coast. All the while, I think it's time for the to have this train carry some more vans. Let's see. Ooh. I'll just take out a, a little bit of the loan out to get some more of these. Arg, 5.56. So close. However, let's see how much of a full train of meat will this bring in. Because if a load, if a nearly full load brings us 2.54 million. How much will a full load of meat at 182 units bring us? Five point seventy-seven? Yeesh! That is a lot of money. But that means we could finally start expanding our trade and carrying well meat to basically earn us more money. Three hundred and fifty units of meat. This could be a very, very profitable venture. But we still gotta keep up with the meat demands though. So I think it's time to expand this cattle train a little. And we don't have any extra cash for to add more wagons. However, the iron ore mine is up in full production. And there's lots of iron ore waiting to be picked up. So that means our new iron ore service will soon start making money. Once we start transporting more iron ore and more coal to the steel mill, we'll be able to transport more steel eventually once we start services of serving this machine factory. Of course, we'll also have to restart operations here at the sawmill and this logging camp 
as well as restarting services and delivering grain to this bakery. So many commodities, so little time to do it. <sighs> Alright. The station is nearly at has over 224 units of meat waiting to be picked up. 240 units of meat. Livestock equals 240 units of meat. Oh, and we have our newest vehicle. Our first ever electric trolley. The Stad Bond Haley. So, with the arrival of this new trolley, we're going to replace our aging steam power trolleys with this one. They're faster, and they run on electricity. Now, I think, yeah, they actually have the same capacity as the steam power trams. However, since they're electric, the emissions they release is, is basically a little better than using the steam powered ones. 260. Ooh, this, this train needs to pick up more immediately. Of course, I want to make sure that this train is not too heavy with these one and alone. Alright. We just need a little more cash. Our diamond train is on the way back and the train is loading off of the iron mine. The truck in the operation station here is still waiting for delivery or pickup of iron ore. But needless to say, our train will carry twice as much as a wagon convoy can. Now down to 8 million pounds, so we'll just need a little more time to basically earn that money. Huh? Wow, Johannesburg now wants meat! So we can now start operating meat trains there, too. But I feel like once we expand down into the lowlands, I feel like we need to connect this cattle farm so we can increase the amount of meat here by two. Actually, I think it's best if I add another engine to this train. I'm just going to sell off this original engine and purchase a pair of new but that's going to cost 2.78. Let's see. There we go. Much better. So now, with a pair of C-Class 060s, it should at least make them rip up the grades a lot easier. Who knows, maybe this meat train will actually care earn a lot more money than handling just diamonds alone. And our first load of iron ore is on its way via rail at last. As of right now, the steel mill is now running a little low on iron ore, as we are now having more coal brought in than iron ore, basically. Oh! I didn't mean to click on that eagle. I meant to click on the coal mine. Shipment is, is half. We're stuck at level one. Transport and production are still high up. However, how is this engine doing well on the grade? All right. If it goes below 15, I'm getting another engine to operate this service. 16. 15. Oh, just barely made it. Just barely. But, yeah. I think it's probably best to add another engine to this train. We'll just add an, another pair of these. We'll need 2.60. I'll just take out another loan. Buy them. And that will basically fix the power problem. But the coal train, however, since it's on a downward grade leading into the steel mill, where the track is now completely flat, it should basically be an issue on handling a heavy train on a steep grade. 
2.95 million pounds. Speaking of which, where is that train of meat? Ah, there it is now. Switching over from the main line onto the freight yard tracks, then taking the left track leading into the meat drop off signing. Ugh. in and 11.1 well then now we finally have enough money to actually start expanding our operations again as now with the money in hand with a profitable business we can now start the expansion to the coast at long last as even though I could build the line between the capital down to the or I'd rather just basically start earning money up here to help with the financing of the construction. There'll be some steep grades on the way up back to the capital, so I'll have to probably double head some locomotives on this line. I'll flatten this track a bit. Uh oh. Don't tell me a train got stuck. Yep. The spray train is blocking the main line for the passenger train. I think, with that switch right there, it's difficult for a freight train and a passenger train to travel through the same switches. Well, anyway, with that done, we can start now expanding into the... expanding through this hilly, mountainous area. A lot of tunnels, but definitely worth it for this extension. We'll probably have to build a bridge over here. Okay, I think if we can build through this mountain pass, we might be able to basically reach the lowlands. Plus, since it's double tracked, it will basically allow more than one train to operate on this section. We'll place down a stone viaduct. We can replace this with a cutting to save some money. Alright. It's not much, but at least... Now we have to be very precise on the way down. Don't want to have any of those unusual looking grades or a bridge. If that's the case, I'm flattening the ground around it to make it a little more realistic. But yeah, this grade is going to be quite steep. Convert this into another tunnel, and now our tracks have finally reached the lowlands. All we just have to do now is just connect to the port. But I do want to make a stop here at Kamanti Port to basically deliver passengers and freight. In the meantime, I also want to connect to this cattle ranch so we can increase the amount of cattle being produced at this butchering shop by two. Alright. You know, I actually have a very unique idea for this section right here. 
You may not have heard of it, but in the olden days, when trains tried to climb up a steep grade, they often had to rely on a banking engine or a helper locomotive. It's still common today, but in the past, there would often be a place for an engine to stay in a siding until it was needed. Which, in this case, will be this right here. We'll use an 060 side tank. And this engine will normally be called upon to help with the climbing of the gradient just beyond the hill. I know it looks silly, but it would look pretty nice. Actually. Hmm. Alright, the engine will stay in the small little siding at the bottom of the hill, and then will help the back end of a train climbing up. It won't really actually happen. But however, this engine will be used in case of an emergency, so to speak. But now, let's basically continue with the construction of the line. Okay. We'll have to build a siding out on the other side of this road to basically reach the cattle ranch. But it soon won't be long before we'll start making some serious money with this new coastal extension. And we'll save the construction of the new station here at Coma Port in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed this episode of my Let's Play Transport Fever 2, Please be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Texas Gaming Industries for new video uploads every Friday or Saturday, depending on my on-site schedule. And as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!